same three diagrams uh, that we did in the last lesson. This time we're gonna use elimination to solve the problem. Okay, uh, first thing I'm gonna do over here, I'm gonna multiply this by negative one. This becomes negative X, this becomes negative Y, this becomes negative one. Now we're going to add 2y equals 4, divide by 2, y is 2. Now let's go back into this equation, and let's put 2 in y. So it becomes x plus 2 is 1 x is 1 transpose x is negative 1 therefore the pair xy where the lines cross is negative 1 and 2 negative 1 and 2 uh, goes with this one over here that goes with that okay <clears throat> Okay, second diagram. This time, uh, to eliminate this, I'm going to multiply this by 3. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3, times 3. So we're going to add it with this one over here. Okay, so I'm going to say these two, let's add. 9 and 4 is 13x. This cancels. Negative 2 and 15 is 13, okay? Divide by 13, divide by 13, x is 1. Now, if x is 1, let's go put it back in here. Oh, let me change my color. We're going to substitute it in here. 4x plus 3y is negative 2. x is 1, so that becomes 4 plus 3y is negative 2. So 3y is negative 2, transpose the 4, negative 4. 3y is negative 6, divide by 3, divide by 3. y is negative 2, therefore the pair xy is 1, negative 2. 1, negative 2 is this guy over here. So they go together. There is the linear equation. We got one more to go. Okay, this one's fast. All I have to do is add 3x is 3. Divide by 3. x is 1. Go back and put it in x plus y is 3. 1 plus y is 3 y transpose the one y is two so the pair x y is one two one two is over here they go together thank you